Paleontologists are making fascinating discoveries in a remote China desert. Skeletons stacked atop one another, piled four and five deep, columns of death. Finding bone beds that just have the remains of small meat-eating dinosaurs is extremely unusual and extremely rare and extremely exciting. Raptors just stir the imagination. The raptor found on top is of particular interest. It is the largest one in the pit at about three meters long, and its features are distinct. The S-shaped neck typical of a carnivorous raptor, the three-fingered claws of a meat-eater. It had carnivorous dinosaur teeth, these kind of uh, steak knife-like teeth, and then it had a crest on its head. They name him Guan Long, meaning crested dragon. The scientists also notice a very conspicuous ridge on a hip bone of the skeleton. This telling trait, along with the unusual shape of the teeth, leads the team to an exciting conclusion. They have discovered an ancient tyrannosaur. They're extraordinarily familiar, of course, because of T-Rex and its charismatic qualities, but they are a group that shares a set of characteristics. Somehow, the Tyrannosaur family evolved from Guan Long into the nightmarish T-Rex. T-Rex was just an enormous animal, 12,000, 15,000 pounds. Guan Long was, you know, weighed in the hundreds of pounds. This is gonna be a much swifter animal, much more agile at running down prey. They probably went from being predators of relatively small animals to predators of bigger prey items with the capability of breaking even bones with their teeth. The dig team works with biologists and artists to bring Guan Long to life. Every bone tells a story, but each needs to be assembled into a skeletal form first. Then they determine how the joints connect and the range of motion they would have allowed. They add in tendons and muscle mass, and a cyber Guan Long comes to life. It's obviously a very athletic creature just by looking at its body form. The arms of Guan Long are quite long for the size of this animal. T-Rex's arms were more like two-fingered stubs. The interesting question is not so much what was Guan Long doing with its arms, but why did the weird arms of T-Rex evolve the way they did? With the discovery of Guan Long, the scientists can now see Tyrannosaur evolution in action. The forelimbs became less and less important in grabbing and grasping prey. And instead, the head and possibly the feet became more important in the actions of catching uh, prey animals. 